Hey, hello, I'm Ragnar Hall. Welcome to this video. I assume you also spend a lot of time in calls and meetings, and sometimes you get a little bit of distraction because of heavy background noises. And I don't know, maybe somebody is currently eating or typing or doing other kinds of sounds, but these kind of sounds might be a little bit disturbing. So Microsoft Teams is now currently offering a brand new feature around background noise suppression and reduction, and we're going to test it out right now. So what I will show you in this video is how to configure the new Microsoft Teams noise uh, suppression reduction mode. There are three different stages. We're going to test all of them. Then my test device is going to be a Poly Blackbird A225. The question is why I've chosen this device. I've got plenty of headphones, but I've chosen this one because Poly told me that this is the, uh, of course, a acoustic fence, so it's very strong in background noise reduction. And it's also certified for Microsoft Teams, also for uh, Cisco WebEx and Zoom and other solutions. And it's a very affordable device. Uh, it's, uh, this headset is around 160, 70 street price, euros and US dollar, officially 209 dollar. And it contains uh, some nice things for Teams, like a dedicated button for Teams, which helps to answer and to decline and stop and finish calls. Also a plus and minus button for volume up and down. And this boom arm looks maybe a little bit old fashioned, but it really improves the audio quality, what we're going to see in a few seconds. So this is my headset uh, recommendation, which we are going to test now. I'm using it since a few weeks, but never used it with the new Microsoft Teams noise reduction. So let's keep our test starting. Okay, this is now the Poly Blackbird A225 without any noise reduction from the Microsoft Teams side. And I'm starting with a simple test by typing here a little bit. So here I'm using my keyboard typing now we're increasing the noise a little bit by eating a little bit and now my next test is going to be an arriving train so that's leeds train station in england I'm going to read all the tests. Oh, the train is arriving. Yeah, this should be pretty loud. Okay, let's stop this one and go to the last test, which is the vacuum cleaner one. Please let me know if you can hear the vacuum cleaner with the poorly blackbird, uh, black wire. Blackbird is a great song from the Beatles. Okay. The automatic, automated Microsoft Teams noise suppression. Auto mode. Now back to Leeds train, sta Leeds train station. Should be enough, and now the most challenging one, by the way. So this was now the auto mode for Microsoft Teams noise suppression. Okay, last but not least, the highest mode from Microsoft Teams noise suppression, starting here with a little bit of typing. Let me know if he hears some typing. Now I'm eating. Back to Leeds train station. One second, the wrong video. So. Train is arriving. 
it's actually very loud. Okay, and now finally, the vacuum cleaner. Before I jump into the configuration of Microsoft Teams and enable the noise suppression, I have to mention that for the highest noise suppression stage called high, you need a CPU, a, a chipset which supports AVX2. And usually you don't know if this is supported, so I was downloading a small and free tool called CPU ID at a web page called www.cpuid.com. It's a free tool. And if you look here on my left screen, if you go to the CPU tab, go to instructions, you can see that AVX2 was or is supported on my processor. So here I can use the highest stage. If you don't have this um, kind of chipset supported, don't worry, just go to auto. And if you currently don't see the noise suppression settings in your Teams client, then this might be the reason because Microsoft is still rolling out this feature. So it should be available in your Teams client on Windows and Mac until the end of December. Okay, let's have a look now where to enable this new feature. So just go to your profile, then go to the settings and here check devices and there you find the noise suppression. You can choose between high, low, off and auto, which is the default setting. So back at my Azure SM7B and if you look here or if you hear the background noise sounds of a, of a train station, it's really loud. So I'm very impressed about the quality of the Blackbird. Okay, let the train arrive. And then a little bit last but not least vacuum cleaner. And finally noise test. So yeah, Paulie, you did a great job here in reducing the background noise. So acoustic fans is not just a marketing word. You really prove that it works. And also credits to Microsoft for adding this uh, new feature for noise suppression. But I didn't hear so much difference between the high and the auto quality. So please let me know in your comments which version do you like most? The Poly one without the new features, Poly with auto, Poly with high. Happy to hear your experiences and how it helps you to have a better call quality and better meetings with these new AI technologies and also with the new headset generation. Thanks much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.